So in case you guys are still wondering, yes, we are in the grand finale of this game. We are now searching for Anna. Uh, we went into the Mind Palace, kind of lost ourselves, uh, kind of had a little bit of a falling out with our inner self, our, or as the game calls him, him, which is our imaginary friend, if you will. Which, honestly, I've said this before, it would be amazing to have an imaginary friend in real life. Like, if that was really a thing, it would be amazing. But uh, we now know who the killer is, or who at least the, I guess, the mob boss is. We found out it was the cop. Um, I've always had my suspicions about him, but uh, I wasn't sure. So, thank you for being here. We're going to end it off today. This should be the last and final episode. I'm super excited, and uh, I really hope that you guys have been enjoying it. So, if we take a look at our journal, it says, I made a choice. Meanwhile, in reality, there's a lot left unfinished. But I should clear things up with Anna before we can look for Dickie's dead drop. We are back at the same place. Okay. Shit got real dark real quick. So we're back at the same place. How convenient is this? If Declan arrives, he's going to see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan is the cop. Who is the guy that's responsible for the murder? Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Funny how things just came all the way full circle. We're back at the same spot we were when we first started this game. Now, I don't know if we should be looking for Anna here or... May... Oh. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. I swear to God. If if Anna has something to do with Nick's murder, I'm going to lose my shit. It's been a lot to take in. Let's just do this. Sorry. I know. I had a bit of a panic attack. I'm really sorry I put us in danger. But that's over now. I'm in the here and now 100%. All right. Glad to have you. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. Anna, whatever happens, I'm really glad someone's here with me. Sam, we can get all sappy once this is all over. Now we need those files. I can't find them anywhere. Very, very quiet in these parts of town. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> okay, so... <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. I feel like we're going to be uh, heading back into the woods. Trash bin. This would be the classic choice, but no. What, nothing. What if it's inside the woods, dude? A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Ooh, a lunchbox. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Delicious. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. There's a little teddy bear there. It's a little... Ooh, <laughs> look at it right there. That's actually in plain sight, dude. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? He's there. We'll be able to put Declan behind bars. I would, I would shut up and get the Come fuck on. out of there. There he Hold is. Hold there, boss. <gasps> oh. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. 
He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. I'll start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You were one of Basswood's best. People counted on you. Don't even try to give me that. I've given enough to those two-faced hypocrites. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. Appeal to his humanity, step forward, shout to get his attention. Declan, listen to me. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. Fuck. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Keep your cool. He's not gonna shoot if he thinks he has better options. Otherwise, he already would have. Okay. You are only after the truth. It's not who you are. It's not in your interest. Killing us is not in your best interest, Declan. The more bodies you leave behind, the harder it'll be to hide them. It's a good point. But at least bodies don't talk. Look, I don't want to do this. But I promise. It ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this. <laughs> and you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? Eh, pretty much. He wants things to stay as they were, to cover up the whole story. If he thinks you'll get in his way, he won't hesitate to pull that trigger. You don't have to kill us. Our murders won't go unnoticed. Diggy would rat you out. Uh, you don't have to kill us. You're not some psycho killer, Declan. You're in over your head. I doubt you ever intended to kill anyone. Dickie's still alive. You could have killed him, and you didn't. You're still a cop. You still care about this town. Maybe you're right, Sam. Maybe deep down I don't want to hurt anyone. Or maybe I just still had a use for Dickie, and I was just thinking of paying him a visit as soon as I got the goods. Good luck finding him. He won't show up if he doesn't hear from us again. Uh, I know you're bluffing. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead. Tell me how that happens. For all his bad boy act, it's clear he wants insurances. To know he's safe. Deep down, he thinks everyone is as crooked as he is. Turn yourself in. Take the evidence and go. Buy our, our, I don't know that. Buy us then, your drug money for our silence. Samuel Higgs, ask him for a bribe. That's and then we'll just rat him out. <laughs> it's an insurance policy. If we participate, we become criminals as well. We won't be able to turn on you without ruining our own reputations. Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. 
If I let you go, who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? I will make the same mistake. We're both pragmatic. Ah, I want to let me ask him. I got to ask him. You know, as a criminal and as a cop, he's probably seen lots of desperate people doing desperate things. Stay calm, appear confident. You staring down the barrel of his gun is already having an effect on him. I want, uh, I won't make the same mistake. I put my own interests first. And it's in my best interest to not be shot. I could turn on you, risk my life and the lives of everybody I love. Or I could go home and forget about what I know. Forget all about Basswood. Honestly, I could really use a reason to forget about this place for good. You've become a wise man, Sam. I must say, Higgs, you might have found yourself a way out of this. How about you just hand over the evidence, Anna? Nice and easy. Uh oh. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. It's better for everyone this way. You win, Declan. Good call. I expect you two to keep your end of the bargain. You asshole! Oh my god. Oh no, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. <gasps> Not exactly what I had in mind. Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry. Oh, oh. Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Nah, don't, don't worry. Come on, dude. Anna, Anna, please. What the heck, man? This is Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? A local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. Another it's funeral. He used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Oh, could oh, it be Anna? Sam. Nice to see you up and about. Him again? He really wants to be a part of this community, doesn't he? Wait, scratch that. He really wants to look nah. like he's part of this community. I mean, we're not we weren't necessarily wounded. That's why I thought it was Anna, but it looked like Anna died. But we're the journalists. Maybe it was us. Damn. She died, huh? Nice to see you, too. I didn't know you and Anna were close. No, we aren't. Not yet, at least. I just wanted to give her my best. What affects the community affects us all, Sam. Lots of well-wishers. Kathy, Walter, Bess. Makes me feel a touch like a ghoul. Well, sometimes it's what it takes to be part of the community. I know how it feels to be outside looking in. Very astute. Putting down roots is a rather active process. How's Kathy? Is she doing okay? She's been going through some hard times lately. I've noticed. I'm thinking of giving her some paid time off. That way she can focus on her daughter. That's very generous of you. Nah, I'm just trying to do my part. Besides, the pharmacy just wouldn't be what it is without Kathy. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. 
I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. N no. You have a good life, young man. I'll try. Bro, is Anna alive or dead? What the hell? Is this a funeral? Is this just like... Okay, no. Uh, she's alive. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. I'm so glad she's finally out of the hospital. <sighs> okay, so she was... It was her. Thank God. She was a journalist too. Remember, she wrote that paper about the uh, junkies over at the... Uh... At the cove, I think Sam, it was called, right? Hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but it don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. See? Told you promising him you'd keep his daughter safe was a good idea. Who knows, it might have even given you the extra boost you needed against Declan. But you did do good. Well done, champ. Well, when a man makes a promise, he does what he needs to keep it. Ooh, playing the macho card with the old patriarch. Very nice. That he does. You know... Anna told me how things went down up there. Said you getting inside Declan's head saved her skin. Declan wasn't a complicated man. Control, anger, greed. Knowing that. Being able to see a man for who he truly is, that's one hell of a gift. I know you're really here for my daughter. And today, you're not the only one. Lots of good people have come around to see how she's doing. Don't you be a stranger, Sam. <laughs> Not a lot of people with a good handshake left. Hmm. All right. Sam. I've been meaning to call you. Have you talked to Joan? I haven't heard from her since last week. Why? What happened? She ran away. After she heard about Anna's. She just... She left. Do you know where she is? At my sister's. Sam, I don't even know what to do. She won't return my calls. Your calls? Kathy, you have to go talk to her in person. You think I don't know that? You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Damn, they both are kind of like, Joan is worried about you. Ah, oh, man. Kathy, Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged and I hurt my back and... She said it wasn't just that. Oh, She's no. noticed the pills. It's the only way I can deal with my back. And it helps with... with other things. Look, I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child by yourself. But I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has. Oh, God. I... I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. I need to get help. Sam, could I... Could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? She needs the people she loves close to her right now. I'd love to. I get along better with her than most adults. I just... 
I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. I better try to call her again. Thanks, Sam. For everything. Okay, can I speak to Anna already? What the heck's going on here? Where's Anna? Oh, okay. I gotta speak to these guys first. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I'm just happy Anna's coming home. Things could have been much worse. It always can be. <laughs> it always can be. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. That day, you said you need to ride until you can't anymore. Well, this is as far as I go. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. Consider taking some time to think it through. This doesn't sound like you. My first week in the bullpen, you said to me, the pen is not a sword, but a shield. You take this town's shield away? Using my own words against me. <laughs> Believe me, I wish there were another way. But I lost my flame, and there's no one to pick up the torch. Except... He's gonna offer you to be editor-in-chief. He never liked you leaving in the first place. Though, he is missing the obvious. Anna. She's connected to this place in a way that you aren't. She'd be the right choice. Hmm. If you're not interested in the position yourself, that is. We should, you, I mean. I see no one more up to the task. You've proven time and time again you're the quintessence of a journalist. <laughs> I should have told you a long time ago. Um... Honestly, I'm gonna take that shit. <laughs> it would be an honor. The jungle hasn't gotten an inch bigger than when you left. And with the way the whole industry is going, it might not last much longer. Walter, you've made the sale. Cash in while you still can. Great. Great. I'm surprised you said yes. I'm surprised you offered. What with my history. Because you use ink and paper to point out hypocrisy and right wrongs? Few are half as brave which is why every community needs a Samuel in it. We have much to discuss, but you're not here for an old fuddy-duddy. If I can give you a small piece of advice, a good life is one where you keep your friends close to your heart. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have to look after Bug anyways, so it'd be only right for us to stay here and you make sure to push yourself get some fresh air don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now oh Sam you're finally here I was looking for you now I know you've been through hell and back I know that if there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you or even just little old me you give me a holler all right for now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend. Hmm.
Some of the answers are so easy to answer. No one saw it coming. I still would have trusted him with my life. He was serious, dedicated. Looking back, maybe obsessed. It's a rot that grows deep under the floorboards. I didn't see it either. <laughs> what happened isn't on you. Thanks, officer. Bess, hon. I've known you too long for you to call me anything else. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. It's probably Bug. Yeah, I just spoke to Mom. Are you really staying in Basswood? Hmm. Well, there it is. I guess we made the right choice. We'll find out now. So, we're gonna get back together or what? Huh? Sweetie pie? <laughs> so. So. I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. Yeah, I meant to get here before you, but I had to stop by the cemetery on the way. Finally paid Nick a visit. Still doesn't feel like he's gone, right? I was still thinking he'd come greet me when I opened the door, you know? You feeling okay? Is it crazy to say it feels like the longest day of my life is finally over? I honestly know exactly what you mean. I've had other days like that, or I thought were like that. Makes me worry I have some even worse days lurking ahead. Hey, I'm the one that got shot. You don't get to be the depressing one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what about you? How are you compacting everything? I have the past properly compacted in my mind, Vice. I'm okay. Like, really okay. Hopefully you can teach me that trick so I can get to be okay, too. At least it's over. Whatever was on Nick's laptop is gone forever. But so are the bad guys. The scales are balanced. I guess there might have been more. The scales are not balanced. Hmm, I guess. Nick was a good journalist. There might have been some things on there. Okay, like... Want to tell me what you're doing here? Talk about the little details that don't add up and don't really matter? You better not be taking my happy ending away from us. I don't know. It's I, just I thought I guess seemed kind of lame. Okay. So I talked to Walter. He's about to retire. Wait, what? And he offered me the position of editor in chief. Should have given What it did you say? Oh, I should have given it to her, I think. <laughs> Not. I don't know how to tell you. What do you think? Well, if you had to guess, what would you think I did? <laughs> Normally, you'd say no. Sulk off. <laughs> that does sound like me. But you didn't. You didn't do that. You said yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, asking you sounds like Walter, but what bizarro world had you saying yes? One in which I grew up. So, does that mean you're staying? I can't really head the local paper if I'm not in Basswood. I'd like that. You sticking around. You know, you need business cards. Uh, no one uses business cards anymore. It's the 21st century, Higgs. What's old is new again. And think about what Walter would want. <laughs> well, business cards it is then. Walter's still over there in the corner by himself. Poor man. <laughs> well... There it is. 
I guess we can say we are done. So we've officially finished Twin Mirror. That is the ending. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you enjoy the game? Honestly, I, I enjoy these like real life simulator type games, you know, decision making and stuff like that. Um, they're relaxing. Sometimes they have really good and interesting stories. A lot of them are usually very dramatic. Um, I I wouldn't put Twin Mirror above like Life is Strange or Tell Me Why or anything like that. I feel like those games are just way much more, they're, they're more complex and the stories are a bit richer, but this is, this is pretty good, honestly. It was worth the four hours and um, I just wanted to share the story with you all here on the channel and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, like would be pretty cool, I guess. And thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought. Yay, nay in the comments. Anyways, thank you guys, and I will catch you on the next one.